Today we're going to learn how to price an FX option on Bloomberg. To begin with, type option on the top left hand corner. This will bring up the FX option menu. Click on OVML and this will bring up the option calculator. The option calculator will always open up at a vanilla structure. In this case, it's a Euro dollar three month put. There are four important pieces to pricing an FX option. Firstly, spot, then volatility, strike, and obviously tenor, or how long the option is going to be around for. When pricing a vanilla option, there are two key influences that move the option price more than anything else. Firstly, strike and its proximity to spot. In this case, we're pricing an at the money forward. If I was to price another strike, I could simply just overtype 1.28. Straight away, this makes it a 1.83% out of the money option. And you'll see that my premium moves significantly as well. Alternatively, I could type 1% or 1.0 and that would give me 1% out of the money. The same way, I could type 1.0 I, and that would give me 1% in the money. If I wanted to return to the at the money forward, all I would need to do is click again, ATM, and that would bring me back to my at the money forward. If I wanted to price instead off at the money spot, ATMS. At the same time, I can change my volatility. Bloomberg provides volatility via its option pricing surface. This option volatility surface is drawn from a large number of contributor banks and as such is quite accurate. However, you may for your own purposes need to use a different um, volatility surface. So you can easily overtype. If I put 10%, it will put 10% for both sides. If I put 10 and 10.5, it will spread the volatility and show me an appropriate spread underneath. Looking at this now, I can see that my option premium moves with my change in vol uh, and also of course with my strike. So let's try pricing something from scratch. I'll leave my option um, spot reference where it is and I'm going to try and price a 3% out of the money uh, put using 7% volatility. So 3%, 3 0 out of the money. Then I can move down here and type 7 enter. This will use 7% for both sides. Since I'm not really looking at buying or selling, I just want an indication of where the price will be. If then I wanted to use this and look for the payoff diagram, I'd move up to the right hand side, click on split view. And this will generate the payoff diagram for me at expiry. I can of course click this into a table which will generate my payoff after my option premium or alternatively I can click on these dates and this will give me my option value as a function of the nearness to expiry. Where this is important is at inception where the option is worth slightly more if I sell it back. I can also show this on a graph. If I then wanted to bring up a series of options, I could click on matrix. This will then calculate um, uh, literally a matrix of various options and option types according to strike and date. As you can see, there are a number of, star, uh, number of different methods that I can use. So for strike, volatility or price on the X and Y axis.
I'm just going to pop back now to my model. Now, what can you can see is I've returned back to my model and it's keeping all my details in there. This is the first lesson on how to price an FX option on Bloomberg. Today we're going to learn how to price an FX option on Bloomberg. Firstly, click on the menu bar at the top and type Option. This will bring up the drop down menu. Click on OVML, standing for Option Valuation Model. Once in here, this will open up a vanilla option. In this case, a Euro Dollar Vanilla Put. The most important part of pricing an option are the spot reference, the volatility and the forward points. Of course notional matters in terms of the amount of premium but not in the percentage premium. When we look at pricing options in Bloomberg certain fields are drawn from different areas of the terminal. When it comes to option models volatility is drawn from our volatility surface. To find that type option volatility. OVDV is the option volatility surface and this is where our volatility is drawn from unless of course we price in our own volatility. To go back OVML and this brings back my model. We also need to know where the forward points are. To find the forward, FRD, and here is our forward model. This forward model provides the forward points or forward adjustment for our option model. Back to OVML. Back into OVML, if I wanted to add a leg in order to make my strategy, for example, more than just a vanilla put, I want to click on Add Leg. This allows me another dynamic such that I can price uh, risk reversals, synthetic forwards, etc. Client sells, change this to a call. And immediately I have uh, a synthetic forward, or if I made, if I solve for zero, I have 